Welcome to Lincoln, Nebraska, and a place some of the game's immortals have called home. Johnny the Jet, Frazier, Crouch, Rozier, and many, many more have built this big red legacy as this crowd is ready to cheer on their beloved Cornhuskers. A Big Ten showdown is coming. Conference implications of plenty that could resonate for the rest of the season. As we'll see, the Rutgers Scarlet Knights taking on the Nebraska Cornhuskers. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. The Scarlet Knights will kick it away to start us off. And he's coming out of the end zone. Pulled down at the 18, and the decision to bring it out of the end zone was not a good one. The Cornhuskers offense takes the field for the first time today. There he is, the man who makes everything go, and they believe they're going to score every time they touch it when he's on the field, Jesse. He plays with unbelievable confidence, Reese. Always knows where to go with the football. The entire playbook is at this guy's disposal. Yeah, which is so much fun for a coach, so much fun to play with, and a guy that can do everything. Everybody on the field is active in a way. You know, I think a big part of this isn't necessarily scoring a touchdown on that play, but you're just trying to get your offensive line in the rhythm of the game. Let those big fellas get lathered up. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Fast motion from the offense. Leaves it with the running back. Finds a little bit of space. Gets three to the 22. down and they'll need five to keep this opening drive moving a little pre-snap eye candy for the defense and he just throws it away that is not what you're looking for on third down fourth down coming up well they try to throw for it there on third down on the opening drive of the game they don't get it but let's punt the ball away let's trust our defense and guys let's also trust this home Number field 18. advantage and the crowd to get loud and make it real difficult on our opponent fourth down and the punt team sends it the other way he'll settle for some pretty good field position and make the fair catch at around the 35. So the Rutgers Scarlet Knights offense will try to get something started with their first possession. As we take a look at our impact players for this game, David, what do you look for to make an impact from your leaders? Your leaders not only have to lead the football team, but they got to step up and make plays on the field, keep everybody calm. These guys typically do a really good job. Right? Yeah, David, and they also generally set the tone for their respective football teams. Regardless of which side of the ball they play on, the teammates look towards them to step up in big games like this. This crowd bringing the energy and noise early. Trying the left side. Fighting off the defender. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good game before the stop is made. This running back just doesn't go down easily. It's just difficult for defenses to get him on the ground. Not overly huge, but if I'm an offensive coordinator, I'm going to continue to find ways to feature him. And just, yeah, you know what? Let his talent be the rest. To the ground to try to pick up the first. And he needed just a single yard, and he did not get it. What a stout play by this defense. Well, the defense got the stop there on third and one. Let's see if they can do it again here on fourth and inches then. I just got to find a way to fall forward, be physical, work on this all week. You know you're going for it on fourth down. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. The Cornhuskers ready to go back to work on offense. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this one. 
They'll snap this one from the 32. It's first down. They'll give it to him again. And how about the efficiency on that one? It'll bring up second and four. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. Six-yard pickup on first down leaves him with second and four. On the run, it's Irvin. And he gets it to the 44-yard line. It'll be a first down. Well, when you talk Nebraska football, it always comes down to their ability on the field for a reason. His vision, his ability to make people miss, run with toughness. He can do it all. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. Going for the big play. He's got it inside the 30. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. And a really good job by the quarterback being very decisive. He saw his matchup, he went for it, he attacked it, got the positive game. I would say he's going to find that guy a few more times today. The Cornhuskers have it with a first and ten. Used the play fake, now to throw. Unleashes one deep. Incomplete, man, is he lucky to get that one back deep as that close to an interception. And that's why these guys played defense. If that were an offensive player or receiver, that would have easily have been a catch. Come on, man. You've got to catch that and make that a pick. Here they come to try it again on second and 10 from the 29. To the air. It's Rayola. Right on target this time. Look, you can't take away everything, right? So you give them that and rally and make a solid tackle. Yeah, and a lot of times in zone coverage, I, I like when I can get all the eyes on the quarterback. I like when I can see the routes and see him develop in the middle. And you could tell they had keys on the tight end. He wasn't going anywhere after he caught that football. Out of the shotgun on third down. Catch in the middle. It's Nelson. And he's brought down after a nice game. Boy, his freshman quarterback has a hose. Did he sing that thing in there? When a defense is in zone coverage, Jesse, they want to react. How do you react to a howitzer coming out like that one? Not much you can do because this guy's got a cannon. You saw all the eyeballs on defense on that play. They were waiting and anticipating that throw. But when you've got an arm like that, it's going to be tough to stop that throw. And there was nowhere to go. Just stopped in his tracks in the backfield. I like offenses being creative. I'm not sure if that was the best place to call that play. I think this offense needs to think about just doing things a little bit more by the book. They've got a lot of good playmakers. You don't have to reinvent the wheel this early in the game. A designed run for the quarterback. Not a whole lot of progress made there on the short run. You know, I really like this QB running the football because I know he's got a lot of speed, but he's not the biggest guy in the world. So he's not going to be able to break a lot of tackles. You've really got to do a good job of trying to scheme ways to get him out in more space. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. And he will score! Touchdown, Husker! What a nice start for this offense. The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7-0 to start this one. So a drive there of 82 yards, and the score comes on a 12-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there getting set. Let's see what he can do with the return. 
and the coverage team able to wrestle him down. And the Rutgers offense heads back onto the field. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around erasing the mental mistakes. And just trying to solve the defensive riddle, understanding what they're trying to do to you and attack them. I'll tell you, this is a running back who's very, very dangerous. And the defense did a good job getting him down there. But they got to do a great job game tackling because this is a guy that can break tackles and turn those types of plays into home runs. On second down, he'll fire. They'll run the screen. Thrust that arm out. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. Running backs just have to be a weapon in the passing game, even for little dump-offs and checkdowns. Yeah, find your matchups. I mean, you think about running back versus a linebacker. We like that matchup in space, and so find ways to get the football to your running back in space where you can break tackles and make things happen because they're just so dynamic. On third and short, trying to impose their will and move the chains. They'll move those chains, getting it out to the 29-yard line and trying to get this drive rolling. And here we go. If you're an offense, you got to get that ground game going so you can have some balance, and then you give it to your quarterback, Palmer, and let him make some plays down the field later on. Yeah, exactly. And you know, coming into this game, this offense knew they were going to have to some way, somehow, at least establish a semblance of a running game for exactly what you just said. You've got to be able to use play-action pass later in this game to get some explosive plays down the field. And it's a play like that that we just saw, which can help them get that going. And the Scarlet Knights are on the move. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Nice run there on first down. You know, this is a running back that gets better as the game goes on. So they're going to want to make sure they keep feeding him the football, let him get lathered up. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Pulls it and fires to the left. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. Early in the game, as a DB, I'm centering it. it, it it's okay if I give up four, six, seven yards. I'm just trying to get settled in, gauge the speed, and then later on, I can adjust to the speed of the game. In the dead center of the field as they try to convert this third and short. He'll do it himself. The Scarlet Knights are stopped, but not before getting the first down. In an offense, if you're going to be successful running the ball, and I don't care who it is carrying it, you've got to have receivers that are willing to block. You've got to have guys that are willing to get involved. How about the receiver here on the stock block going and picking off that safety? And the Scarlet Knights will have it first and ten. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Fires left. Makes the grab. And he's brought down after a nice game. You know, sometimes when you're throwing against zone coverage, you need time for the routes to develop. So nice job by the quarterback there, being patient, allowing his receivers to work themselves open. They've got it inside the 30 at the 28. First down. Looking for room. It's Monaga. They pull him down after a four-yard gain down to the 24. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Off the play fake. Finds his man. It's Fletcher. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. It's not a great feeling on defense, too. When you're blitzing, you're expecting to get a sack. You're expecting to get a hit on the quarterback. If the offensive line and running backs pick it up, uh-oh, because now you have one less guy in the back end trying to cover all these receivers and tight ends, and you know you're in trouble. He'll pull it on the read. And the defense snows him under after a very short game. 
As an offense, you're okay with that. You're going to run option plays, and sometimes you're going to bust it big, but sometimes you don't necessarily read it correctly, get some positive yards, and, and then we come back and we do it all over again with, with different reads against the different defense. Let's see what they've got on second down. The give to the running back from the shotgun. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. That linebacker saw the express lane right to the ball carry. And a great job by the defensive line getting some push, making them use their resources on him. Linebacker comes free. Boom, and making the backfield for a tackle for a loss. This crowd rising up, sensing that its defense needs some help. Makes the grab on the left. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. Fourth and short. I already called my third down play knowing I was going for it on fourth down. So you better believe I got the play locked and loaded. We're going for it on fourth down. And on fourth down, here comes the field goal unit. Oh, he missed it. No good. Penalty marker on the First field, and the kicker's going to get another go at it, this time a little closer. You must protect the kicker when he's in a defenseless position like that. That penalty's going to give the offense a first down. From the gun, the running back has it. He pushes his way down to the four as they get closer and closer. Now on second and goal. He's looking to throw. Good job to avoid the negative play and just get rid of that thing. But how loud is it in this building? This is crazy. This, these fans are going absolutely nuts. And I used to love when the fans got involved and I'm on defense because it messes with the snap count. It messes with the communication and it can really rattle an offense. On third and goal, they'll throw it. Touchdown, Rutgers! And they made it to the house where they found that six points waiting on them. The AT unit on the field. Smashes it through for the PAT. So they played keep away and held it for 16 plays on the scoring drive. And they capped the drive with a four-yard touchdown pass. After that latest answer tied things up, just about set to kick it away again. And he's going to try to return this one. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. And here comes the Nebraska offense back onto the field. After standing on the sideline and watching that long touchdown drive, they really need to put something together to give their defense a rest. And that's a real thing, man. Like, you played a lot of plays, you get worn out, you need a chance to go decompress on the sideline and get some oxygen. Palmer, now it's on this offense. Yeah, this is the definition of complementary football because it's a two-pronged problem. You've got to score points and answer, but you've also got to take your time and give your defense an opportunity to get their win. They'll go right back to it. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Great job by the defense. Everybody firing off the ball, hitting their guys, holding their gaps, running to the football, nowhere to go. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, backed up inside their 20. Scanning the field, it's Rayola. Back open in the middle. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. They didn't quite get that route run deep enough to pick up the first down. Now they've got a fourth and short. 
And I think everybody at home tends to yell at their television set. Why aren't you getting past the first down marker? Why did you run your route short? Defense did a good job knowing where that was. But now, fourth down, offense has to make a decision. Fair catch called for and made. Rutgers has it back. They'll send the offense back onto the field. How big is this drive? Scored a touchdown the last time they had it. Defense gets to stop, and now it's up to them in a tie game. All right, so if you're the offensive coordinator here, let's dial it in. Who are your best matchups and best playmakers to take advantage of this golden opportunity? Yeah, and I'm interested to see this defense, too. Like, the momentum is clearly not in your favor. How do you get it back? How do you make a big play? Do you be more aggressive here to try to get the football back to your offense? Looking to throw on second down. Hubs it downfield. Right on the money to the outside. He dragged the toe. And how about the ball placement? Only the receiver could get it. Don't you just love the big boys? When the big boys up front do their job and create a great pocket, and the quarterback has time now to survey the field and take shots down the field and make huge plays. The offense lines up at the 40. They've got a first down. The give to the left. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And defense nowadays, they don't look at stats of what is the yards per rush. They look at how many negative plays they can create. Because why? Now you look at second down. Man, it just became very predictable for this offense. Nice job creating the loss on first down. They'll line up for a second down play. How about these two running games so far? Dominance on the ground as we look at the first quarter stats. They fought to a standstill in the first. Let's see who gets the edge early in the second. The give to the left side. On the move at the 30. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. Man, that's excellent blocking there on the left side of the line. They were able to get great push, get off the line, create a little bit of crease for that running back. They just created a wall. He had all kinds of room to run. Yeah, I might, I might go back to that one and call that one again. It worked so well. A make the stop after a pickup of three balls at the 18. Now that's what you're trying to do as a defense. Limit those damages when they run the football. Get them on the ground. Short gains to set your defense for positive situations down the road. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. He's looking to throw. Let's it fly deep downfield. It falls incomplete. He was trying to find his man for six. And that's just a huge miss opportunity on offense. QB missed his guy wide open in the end zone. You might not get another team look like that in the rest of this game. Third down, and this crowd will pull out a vocal cord to help this defense. From the gun, wants to pass. Coming after it. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. And that is a great job by the defense, containing and constricting the pocket. There was nowhere for the QB to go, and he did not have a lot of time. He went down quick. And on fourth down, they'll try to salvage the drive with a field goal. And this one is anything but routine. A 48-yard attempt from the right hash. Knocked it right through, showing that big range from 48 yards out. After putting up the field goal, they're set to kick it away. Bringing it back. And the coverage team gets the returner on the ground. The Cornhuskers ready to go back to work on offense. 
That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. And I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the run, Jesse, and working in that pass. And I think, too, David, it's just going to take a spark. It just takes one play to get this thing picked up and going. Nine-yard pickup on first down, and now they can take a shot on second and short. On the ground, it's Irvin. Wrestled to the ground after picking up the first down. Well, the defense knew coming into this one it was going to be a physical game. Guys are going to have to be great at the point of attack and get off blocks and make tackles. Couldn't stop the offense from picking up that first down on that run play. It'll be first and ten from the 30. and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. When you're called Horn Huskers, you're like a big red thrashing machine and you're going to get it done on the ground. Just going to chew up the ground yards. Just going to eat you up, play physical, be different. And that's what Nebraska fans want. Throwback to the old days, the glory days, and they want some of that here in this recent history. Just a savvy, veteran, productive run from this junior. First down, you know you always want to establish the running game. How about this offense? Nothing fancy. Run the football, be physical, get a big game. The Huskers with the first and ten. Power football with the run. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards maybe, second and seven. Yeah, and the running back didn't get much here, but, you know, you clearly want to always establish the tempo, run the football, be consistent, make that defense physically meet the challenge. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. They'll run it from the gun. Able to pick up a couple down to the 27. Here comes third and short from the 27. This defense trying to make them settle for a field goal. To the air, it's Rayola. Didn't have much of a choice, just had to throw that one away. It'll be fourth down. Got to give the defense credit on that play, taking everything away, forcing the incompletion. Now it's decision time. Fourth and short, and you're in field goal range. What do you do here? They've decided to try to go for the field goal here. And he'll need to curl this one in from 44 yards out on the right hash. It's good. Easy call for the rest. And that's going to give us a tie ball. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. And the Rutgers offense heads back onto the field. David, they couldn't pay off that last drive with a touchdown. Now they moved the ball down the field and executed like they wanted to until they stalled out and had to settle for a field. I think if you want to take the next step two here and score a touchdown, you got to start finding more creative ways to get your best players the ball. Let's see if they can do that here. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and short. They'll go to the ground. And he'll be taken down, but he does have enough for the first down. And this is a guy that can find you the hidden yardage. That play, he just pushes the pile to get that first down. With a first down, they'll snap it from the 32. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Catch in the middle. It's Miller. It's really nice when you're an offensive coach and you can basically attack the whole field. When you've got an arm like this and you can just, boom, put it on a line, it's really nice to have that. This offense has a second down play. 
looking for a physical attack from the gun. Makes the tackle at the 46, but it's a 15-yard gain to get them into plus territory. It's so nice as an offense to know you can generate explosive plays by handing the football off to this guy. He has got incredible speed. The Scarlet Knights have their offense in high gear. He'll come out throwing on first down. He's got an open man. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. Well, you're seeing the balance this offense has and how they can create explosive plays in a variety of ways. We just saw one come in the run game, and now you see one coming in the passing game. I'll tell you, they've got this defense on their heels. They think they can create space here with the run to the right. Headed to the end zone, and he rolls into the house. Touchdown, State University of New Jersey. Man, these ball carriers, they've got a lot of ability in the open field. Their ability to make people miss, but also show off the speed. You saw all of that on that play. Getting set for the point after. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And it was closed out by the fantastic 25-yard touchdown run. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. And here comes the Nebraska offense back onto the field. Takes a handoff. It's Irvin. They knock him down, but not before he gets it out to the 21-yard line. Pick up a four. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Dropping back, it's Rayola. And he got a hand in there, knocks it away incomplete. Linebacker showing off a little bit of athletic ability, playing some man coverage. A lot of times those guys don't play this all the time, so you see him kind of get nervous and a lot of times get that pass interference or get a little bit handsy. Really nice job seeing the football, breaking on it, and swatting it to the ground. On third down, going up top. The freshman able to get home with the sack. It has been said that the other team's quarterback must go down, and he must go down hard, and he did. <laughs> and often is good, too. The most you can get to him, but great job by the defense, rushing the quarterback, understanding pass, and getting the big fella on the ground. And the Huskers send out the punt unit. Three and out, they got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. He'll call for the fair catch here. Rutgers has it back. They'll send the offense back onto the field. You want to talk about a drive where you impose your will? That's what they did running it down for a touchdown, David. There is nothing more demoralizing than that for a defense. To be physically pounded. The run is coming. You know it's coming, and you can't stop it. Nothing the defense can do. That is mano y mano up front, and your guys getting a push. They know you're running it, and they still can't stop it. That completion leaves us with second and medium. There to stop him at the 43, but he gets five and moves the sticks. Offense lines up for a first and ten from the 43. From the gun, running back on the move. 
They'll finally get him on the ground, but not before he makes it to the 30 and gets a first down. Yeah, and this offense is built behind this guy. I mean, a guy that you can hand the football to consistently and expect positive yards all day long, all game long. Now he's over 100 yards on the day. And the Scarlet Knights will snap it on first and 10. They're going to ride this running back. And a good, solid pick up there before the defense knocks him down. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains. And when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. Got eight on first down. Now looking at a second and two. He's looking to throw. Nowhere to go, and the ball is loose. And he coughed it up, and good thing he got it back himself. The ball security doesn't just apply to running backs and receivers. QB's got to keep two hands on the ball as well. And they're very lucky after that fumble that the offense jumped on. Coming to the line of scrimmage at the 30. It would be a long field goal, but they'd love to pick up a few here on third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Feeling some heat. And the pressure is coming in, and they get him again. Great job up front on this pass rush. Defense in a dime personnel group, and they've got six DBs on the field. They're expecting pass, so they're going to have to win with four guys. And they're 4-1. They got the job done. The Scarlet Knights will punt this one away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Making sure there's no return on that one as the punt sails out of bounds. The Cornhuskers ready to go back to work on offense. They hope to be able to cash in on this drive, David, after having to punt it last time. Yeah, and I think this offense needs to start it with the first play. You need to be successful and productive on that first play, and it gets you in less predictable situations. No doubt, too. Don't you just feel like there's a little bit more sense of urgency on this drive? It just feels like they've got to be able to put some points up on the board here. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. They'll keep it on the ground. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Yeah, when you get penetration by that defense right away, and there's no way to cut at all for that back, he gets destroyed right away. No way that play was going to be successful. Way too much penetration. Now facing a third and long. They go to the draw. Strong running there. Going to pick up seven yards on the play, but they still have a fourth and three. The Cornhuskers will bring the punt team onto the field. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. And the punt team able to sling him to the ground. And the Rutgers offense heads back onto the field. Here's another opportunity, Jesse, to stretch out this lead after punting last time. I think it goes back to your playmakers, Reese. I think it's finding the guys that have been working for you earlier on in this game and getting them the football. And there's obviously no need to panic. I mean, think about it. You got the lead. You got the football. You got to be smart with the football. Make your plays. Put a good drive together here. Last play didn't go as planned. Now second and ten from the 26. Wide out in motion. And back to the air on second down. Makes the grab. It's Miller. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. And that's a situation right there where the quarterback is just taking what the defense gives him. The defense has taken everything away down the field. Just take the easy throw in. These are the types of plays where offenses impose their will. Third and short from the 45. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Gets rid of it. And a missed opportunity on third down as the defense knocks it free and fourth down is coming up. 
third and short like that on your own side of the field, you're just looking for a quick hitter. You're trying to get the ball out of your hand quickly, but the timing completely off there for the offense, and the ball falls in. Mm -hmm. And the Scarlet Knights will send out the punt unit. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines, not his best work. And here comes the Nebraska offense back onto the field. On the move, it's Urban. They get him stopped after a gain of four out to the 28. Solid pickup of four on first down and second and six. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. And he's got enough for the first down. It'll be at the 35. That's a great looking run there. Nebraska has had such a great lineage of running back. When you think back to the great Roger Craig or Amon Green, Lawrence Phillips, Rex Burkhead, they always seem to be pumping somebody up into the NFL. This guy has a chance to play on Sunday because of his skills. They'll snap it on first down from the 35. Back to throw, it's Rayola. He'll take a deep shot here. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have squeezed it. And I love taking deep shots. I think it makes cornerbacks play on us, safeties play on us. And you could tell, just missed a little bit deep on that shot. But listen, those are shots that we want to take because the risk is definitely worth the reward. They'll throw again after the incompletion. And they can't make the connection, and it could get worse. A penalty flag on the field, oh, oh, and it's in the holding zone. Let's get the call. Amazing how many times an offensive holding penalty will stall a drive. We'll see if the offense can overcome it. Quickly complete. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. The thing I like about the slot receiver, he's really intentional in his route run. The quarterback always knows exactly where he's going to be on the field. They've got great chemistry. They're about to wear this punter out. He's already been out four times, staring at a fifth if they can't move the chains. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. Short throw to the sideline is complete, and he's out of bounds after picking up a couple. The Huskers will try to pin them back with the punt. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. Rutgers has it back. They'll send the offense back onto the field. They'll have another opportunity to extend this lead after punting last time, David. And it's important to put that punt behind you. It's, it's over. Let it go. Get back to what you were doing that built this lead. Yeah, and defense, obviously, they won a few downs uh, that last drive. So we got to put them on their heels here. Maybe mix up a few personnel groupings and try to show them some pictures they haven't seen yet. Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and medium. He's looking to throw. Fires to the big fella. And that corner came in hot despite knowing that he was giving up some size. I like this tight end. He does a really nice job on his route run. He's been beating man coverage. He can find the soft spots in the zones. You've got to get him involved. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Fires into traffic. Intercepted. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. Not all DBs can make the play at the end, right? They, they can bat the ball down. They can be in position. They don't really secure the football. Great job by the DB securing the football and forcing the turnover. Cornhuskers ready to go back to work on offense. You get field position like this, and you're not likely to punt the way they did the last time they had the ball. Yeah, great job by the defense, setting them up in an opportunity to get some points on the board quickly. 
This is an opportunity you've got to capitalize on this field position. You must come away with points here if you're on offense. And you got to love the versatility of the big fella. You can put him in the box and let him block big defensive linemen, or you put him in the slot and you throw him the football and have success. And the pass is incomplete, but it might not matter. Flag is down, and it looks as if the defense was roughing up that receiver. Defender got a little desperate there. Grab, held, and the offense will take the penalty. Motion from the offense. He'll take it himself. And he's brought down at the line of scrimmage, and the ball will stay at the two. There's a Snap it to the back. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Nebraska! And I love that this offense stuck to it. Stuck to the run game. Didn't panic. They got down, but they answered the bell right before the half, and they got this thing right where they wanted them. They can tie this football game and hopefully go into the half with a lot of momentum. And it's perfect. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And finish the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. All tied up and just about set to kick it away. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. And the Rutgers offense heads back onto the field. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. Firing to the right, complete. He's brought down solid. Pick up but a little bit short of the first down. Hey, I'll tell you what, that slot receiver, he may not be the biggest receiver in the world, but he is shifty, and he runs really good routes. You saw it on that play. This will likely be the last play of the half. He's looking for a man on second down. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. Oh, look out! He's at the 10. Touchdown, Rutgers! And once he got loose, it was all over. And I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. And I'll tell you what, heat that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Guys, time for everyone to take a deep breath and digest what we just saw in Lincoln. And if you thought that was a quick first half, you'd be right on the money. An offensive showcase, yes, but it's been those dynamic running backs who have set the pace. I'm curious to find out if this ground and pound approach is going to continue into the second half or if one of those defenses will actually show some pride. And with that, back to the Sea of Red and our guys at Memorial Stadium. will kick it off to start the second half. He'll start the return inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Rutgers has it back. They'll send the offense back onto the field. Quarterback on the keeper. Bulls his way forward. Quarterbacks generally, guys, we know, they're not as big and not as physical runners as running backs. So it is going to be trickier for them to break tackles. I like the idea of getting the design quarterback run game going. But moving forward, let's see if we can get him out to the perimeter. Kept it on the ground on first down. Now back to the line.
looking to throw on second down. Shoots it to the left. He's got it. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. And you got man-to-man -man coverage. You're running that curl route. That ball has to come out. You know you're going to get hit. Like, you know you stopped your route. He's going to be right there. He does a great job securing the catch, getting the first down. And this set of downs gets started from the 33, first and 10. On the run, it's Monaga. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one. Somehow, it's second and seven. Second down. Stuck with a running game on first down. Now here they come again. From the gun, running back gets to give. Just sort of a relentless run, getting everything that was available to him, and they'll mark him down at the 40. I think they called that knowing they weren't going to hit a home run. So why would you call it that? Well, you call it so third down becomes an easier down. It's not third and long where I have to pass the football. Now all options on the table. On third and short, they'll try to pick it up with the pass. It's complete! And he was on his way, and they get him down at the 30. Nice play design on that one. You make it easy for your quarterback, too, because it's easy to see what's happening right in front of you, over the middle of the field. You can see where defenders are dropping. You can see where the soft spots are in zone coverage. And just a really nice job by the QB locating his guy and making an accurate throw. Out of the gun, the inside handoff to the running back. They'll get him on the ground after a pickup of three to the 28. Got three on first down at second and seven. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And the defense is going to have to have more plays like that. He has had a ball game so far, running wild all day long. Defense finally comes up with a stop. Maybe get a little momentum. Over 100 yards already in this game. So if I'm on defense here, I'm adding more guys to the box, anticipating that they're going to continue to give this guy touches today. Trying to get to it. And the defense gets home and makes a play at the 37-yard line. And listen, the quarterback drops back, and he's going through his progressions. We see zone, but just couldn't do anything about it. This defensive line, this pressure, getting to the quarterback, getting him on the ground. And the field goal unit is on the field. This is going to have to be unleashed from 54 yards out. Let's see upright, it's good. And now the lead is even bigger. After that last field goal drive, they're set to kick it away. On the run from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. And here comes the Nebraska offense back onto the field. They are trailing by 10 here, Jesse, but this is the type of team that seems comfortable in an offensive shootout. You got to hold serve at this point, right? You got to drive the field, put some more points up on the board. Yeah, they just scored. You can answer that now and keep this thing close, David. And I think you're used to that as offense. Like, football is so fast-paced now and you score so quickly, it's not that big of a deal to get down 10. You keep being you, keep being aggressive. Looking for a crease. It's Irvin. Defense fills those gaps. He's got one to the 28. And 
and this offense is desperate to keep this drive alive, trailing by multiple possessions, and it's getting late. It'll be a run on third and short. And he's brought to the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. Offensively, are you going to take four to six every play? Yes, please. Sign me up for that. I'm going to take that every single time. Great job by the offense. Staying patient, staying true to who they are. You want to run the football. You want to be physical. You want to establish yourself. Check, check, check. Gets it out quickly. Still on his feet at the 45. Hit the gas, kid, wide open ahead. And he cruises his way to the house. Touchdown, Cornhusker. And unbelievable timing with the quarterback and wide receiver. Get it to him in his hands, right on his frame, where he can run after the catch and do some serious damage. And that's why he's so dangerous, because of that ability after the catch. For these DBs in this game, you've got to tackle the reception, because if you don't get him down, He's taken into the house. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they finish things off with a big play. 68 yards on the touchdown pass. They're lining up to boot it away. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. And the Rutgers offense heads back onto the field. Man, how comforting is it to know that even if your offense stalls out a little, Jesse, that field goal kicker can knock it in from a long way out. Well, he's one of the best in the country, Reese, no doubt. But this offense would like him and prefer for him to kick an extra point on this drive. And to do that, David, they've got to have more rhythm on offense. Yeah, create some more rhythm, create some more explosive plays, and maybe some more balance. And listen, it's nice to have that weapon and kick long field goals. If you kick too many field goals, you don't get very many Ws. A strike downfield. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. Yeah, and tight ends aren't just line up and block guys anymore. These guys are athletes. You line them up all over the field. And nowadays, you can start to feature them more and more in the passing game. Ball is at the 35. It's first and 10. Hand off from the gun. You want to make sure to maximize those types of runs, and he gets it out to the 41. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. Out of the gun, the give to the back. At the 45 on his way. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Another good run. Man, he has been picking up yards in bunches today. Jesse, showing off all the skills. And he's showing no signs of slowing down, David. This guy just gets better as the game goes on. He is a beast. Give to the running back. And the defense finally makes the stop after the sweet run and good game. There's really no secret to it, David. When this guy's running well, this offense is so hard to stop. It opens up everything, and he's having a great day, showing you a little bit of everything, and this offense has got it rolling on the ground. The Scarlet Knights have it with a first and ten. Wide receiver now comes in motion. They've been running it, but now the pass. Hit hard just as he released it on first down and just couldn't get it to the receiver. He didn't have a whole lot of time to get rid of that one. The defense was all over him right after the snap. No wonder that thing fell incomplete. And the incompletion brings up a second down for this offense. He's looking to throw. He finds his man. And he is run out of bounds as they go backwards there and just avoided the contact. 
awesome body control and great job too knowing where he is on the field to make sure he got his feet down in bounds. At this point, this guy's been open all over the field. And if I'm the QB, man, I keep throwing him the ball. Seventh play of the drive coming up and a long way to go on third down. Pressure coming. Didn't have anything working and just had to throw it away on third down. Third and long situations are really hard to convert. The defense knows it's going to be passed. The pass rushers are getting upfield. You're under pressure. You don't have timing. And as a result now, fourth down. And here comes the field goal unit. This kicker has already made a couple today. Tried to give it enough body English, but he missed it. It's still a three-point game after the miss. Huskers ready to go back to work on offense. David, they love to do what they did last time and put this one in the end zone. You ain't lying. They did a great job. The offense was clicking. Everything went well. Palmer, they executed and got the touchdown. And they really were in a nice rhythm as well. I'd love to see that here on the next drive, too. Just keep doing what you're doing. Everything seems to be working, and you seem to have this defense on their heels. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Now the play fake. Grabbed in the middle. It's Fidel. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. I think that time offensively, we're just trying to take what the defense is giving you, right? You're playing zone coverage. You got your big fella just working right over the ball. It's an easy pitch and catch. Just take the profit and let's keep going. Offense breaks the huddle. It's third down. To the air. It's Rayola. Finds his big tight end. Put it right on him. Sweet play. Good pick up, and they'll move the chains with the first down. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. Looking for space. It's Urban. Man, that D tackle is a freak athlete. Did you see him come out of his stance and beat the offensive lineman? Getting to the running back, cat like quickness. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. He's looking to throw. Got him downfield. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. I'll tell you, man, I love quarterbacks that have arm talent, but that can throw it accurately at the same time. And you saw all of it on that in route. The Cornhuskers are moving quickly down the field. From the gun, they'll try the middle. <laughs> After the productive first down play, it's second and six. He's looking to throw. He's got him still on his feet. He's there to make the stop, but not before he sets up this offense first and goal from the seventh. Well, they execute the in route. How about the arm strength by the QB? That was an absolute bullet on that completion. The Huskers have it in scoring position on first and goal. Motion trying to get the defense to show its hand. Touch pass on the jet sweep. Touchdown, Husker! And with that one, they jump on top here in the second half. And that's why this running back is so dangerous. It's not just handing him off the football, but he's a weapon in the passing game. You see his, his ability to catch it, turn up field, make people miss and find the end zone. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. 
the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. A 67-yard touchdown drive there, and they close the deal with the seven-yarder for the score. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Here he comes from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Rutgers has it back. They'll send the offense back onto the field. We talk about settling for points, but sometimes when you have to settle for... I think it leads you to say maybe I go for it more, but Jesse, I think this offense just needs to put another drive together and just finish stronger. Yeah, and, and be a little bit less predictable, too, especially as they get closer and closer down to the end zone. It's first and 10 from the 31. They'll run it from the gun. Finding a way to put that foot in the ground and get it up to the 37-yard line. It's the MO of this offense, and they really put a lot on the offensive line to go out and really try and establish their dominance and their assertiveness, and they've done a good job of that early in this game, running the football. Six-yard pickup on first down, leaves them with second and four. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. And they try the middle of this stout defense, and they rise to the challenge. you got to have that defense you know you can go to in running situations. Your base defense where you say, okay, this is where I'm going to start, and I'm going to stop the run, stuff it up front. My guys play big up front. And if I need to add some blitzes to it later on down the road, I can. But great job in the base defense making a play. He'll try to pop the draw. They tried to go smash mouth on third and short, and it did not work against this defense. Awesome job up front by this defensive line. Being so good at the point of attack and eating blocks, eating some double teams that allows these linebackers to run free, unencumbered, and get to the football. And the Scarlet Knights will line up to punt it away. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. Signals for the fair catch, and that's where they'll put it in play just outside the 20. And here comes the Nebraska offense back onto the field. He tosses one high and deep down the left side. And there was lots of space as he gets it to the 39-yard line. That's a beautiful pass and catch. I love the job the quarterback does manipulating the defense with his eyes. He froze that safety, and that allowed his receiver more room to work his run. Whole situation changed after that last big play. Now it's first and 10 from the 39. Movement here from the tight end. The give to the back. After the pickup of nine, it's second and one. After the good pickup on first down, let's see if they keep it on the ground. Looking for a man, it's Rayola. They're bringing heat. Can't find a man, and he'll be knocked down at the 40. And a great job by the defense, dropping in zone coverage, all eyes on the quarterback, taking away the options, and then the, finally the pass rush gets home, gets him on the ground. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. It'll be a draw, and he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. This offensive line better figure out a plan for this deep tackle. He is tough to block with one guy. You might want to start double-teaming him. He's going to be a problem moving forward. You saw all of his ability on that last play. They'll try to put three on the board as the field goal unit comes on. Everything will have to be clean from 55 yards away. Oh, the attempt is no good. After the miss, the lead is still full. 31, Rutgers, 27.
and the Rutgers offense heads back onto the field. David, the punter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, and it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the punter out there. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a rhythm. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. Got some of the work done on first. Now let's see what they have on second down. Looking for a gap. It's Monaga. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Well, the offense is trying to go counter, but the defense blows it up. And they do it by getting penetration up the middle, setting up the tackle for us. They've already punted four times in this game, and they're about to run the guy out there for a fifth time if they don't pick up the first down here. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense, and now it's fourth down. Nice job in coverage on that third and short, defensively taking all the throws and options away for the quarterback, and now we're setting up fourth down. The Scarlet Knights line up to punt it away. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. Another punt on the way. Got to make sure those hammies and glutes all activated. Don't want any muscle pulls from overuse. Just enough time for one more snap before the end of the quarter. They'll run it to the right side. And they'll drag him down. That's likely the last play of the third quarter. We've been treated to an aerial show by these two guys so far as you check out their numbers. When you're dealing with a deficit like this, it's all about somebody stepping up to make a play, and you might as well start here in the fourth quarter. To throw, it's Rayola. Fires to the wideout. Complete downfield! And he'll have enough for the first down at the 42. Well, how about the offense setting that play up? We've seen earlier in the game a couple shorter throws. We're just trying to suck those safeties closer to the line of scrimmage, anticipating that they would get an opportunity to take a shot. They called the perfect play at the perfect time right there. This offense will snap it from the 42 on first and 10. They're looking for an advantage to the right. Good pick up there as he gets the first down. They'll mark him at the 48. It's a point in the game, I think, as a coaching staff, where you really challenge your offensive line to go win the football game, right? We've got to lead late. We're going to run the football. And the defense and everybody in the stadium knows that's what's going to happen. Can we run the ball down their throats and impose our will? That's what this offense right now is trying to do. And this time, they're waiting for him, and he only gets back to the line of scrimmage. That back had absolutely nowhere to run the football. Actually, is he counting? I think he's counting to make sure there's only 11 guys on defense. They got nothing on the last play. at second and 10. Off play action. They're working that left side. Ripping through the defense and getting it all the way down to the 24-yard line. And he just continues to put up numbers, and that number is now over 300. This guy just throws completions, man. The ball doesn't seem to touch the ground. He's back there. He's making the right reads. Right now, he is locked into what this defense is trying to do. And the Huskers have it with a first and ten. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. They make the stop to the 19 after a pickup of five. When the offense can run the football and you can feature a guy like this that will get more yards in this block that you can really depend on, hangs on to the football, like it makes offense super easy, especially down the stretch when you want to eat that clock and you want to possess the football. Just nice to have that kind of guy. Quarterback just flat missed it. Incomplete. Now. 
We'll see if they go back to the air after the incompletion. It's third and five. Looking for a man. It's Rayola. Throws toward the end zone. And it's intercepted. A huge fourth quarter play for this defense. We talk about having to have it. We needed to force the turnover. We had to get the football back. They're in such a good position to run out the clock, try to win. No, sir. Our ball, first down. Rutgers has it back. They'll send the offense back onto the field. The give out of the gun. He'll get it up to about the 32-yard line before he stopped, and it'll be first down. And I don't care if I get it by 2, by 20, by 30, by 40. I just, I just want to get the first down, understanding the situation, understanding where the sticks are. Doesn't have to be sexy, but i got to make sure I get to that stick, get to the first down mark. They'll snap this one from the 32. It's first down. He'll keep it himself. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. As a defensive guy now, you're always zoomed in on the quarterback. I mean, these guys, they're, whether they're throwing the football or running it, at least they have the football in their hands every time. You know where they're going to be. You focus in. The defense locked and loaded, understand what they were trying to accomplish, doing a good job getting to the quarterback, and then make those physical hits count. Finish those, finish those tackles with aggressive hits. Make that quarterback feel you for a whole length of the game. Good pick up on the ground, and they'll mark him down at the 39. All right, they showed this in the first half, right? Loaded up, ran the football, had some success. What do they do in the second half? Come back now, pull some guys, go the other direction, have success. Great job by the coaching staff. These fans stepping up to help this defense on third down. Works the middle of the field. And he gets it done on third down. They move the chains, and they'll mark it at the 44. Man, I love this guy's toughness. All game long, he's been getting hit. He's been sacked multiple times, and here we are late in the game. He's still staring down the barrel. Gets nailed, but is able to deliver a big completion for his offense. Looking to go up top on first down. Complete to the right. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. And there was no question in that scenario. That's where the quarterback was going. He knew he had his receiver in a matchup that he liked, running a route where he would find himself open. Nice job between those two. They've got it. First and 10 at the 42. The RPO fire complete to the left. Now, I think this receiver's forte is his route running. He's a guy that can line up all over the field, but it's not just catching post routes and goes. This guy can run shallows. He can run slants. He can run the option routes and find soft spots in the defense. This guy really has all the routes in his toolbox. Now on second down. From the shotgun, they'll run it. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And you hear about run blitzes. This is exactly what a run blitz is. When you know the ball's coming up the middle, you want to bring those linebackers, get them closer to the line of scrimmage, and fire. Right when the ball snapped, he's coming downhill, doing a good job creating the loss. That linebacker really knew what was going on. They'll snap it from the gun on third down. He's going to fire deep. It's complete. A huge pickup. Touchdown, Scarlet Knights! And with that, they move out front here in the fourth. Yeah, and a nice job in the fourth quarter making plays, and a nice job being on the same page. QB, receiver. You could tell he broke with the football. He caught it in stride, gets into the end zone. Nice pitch and catch right there. Nice chemistry by the QB and wide receiver. If he makes this one, the lead will be three, and at least a field goal won't beat you. And it's good, and he's gotten the lead up to three late. They put together an 81-yard drive, and they pay it off with a strike from 38 yards out. 
about to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Looks like he's going to try to return it. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Cornhuskers ready to go back to work on offense. That last drive was promising for a while, but you just can't mess it up at the end with the pick, Jesse. No, you've got to be able to finish drives, especially in this game, if you're going to win. And, David, they've got to be able to eliminate the mental mistakes. Yeah, and I don't think you get conservative or play it safe. You can trust your guy. I think you put the ball right back in his hands and let him do his thing. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Right back to the well. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Yeah, they're just going to need more push up front. There was nowhere for that running back to go. The offensive line got moved right back into his lap, and as a result, they lose yards on that play. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Wants to throw. It's Rayola. Fires to the right. And the missed connection on third down. And now such a tough situation. Late in this game, you're trailing. But now it's fourth and long. Like, it's one thing if it's fourth and short. This makes it even more difficult. You've got to have something dialed up you feel really great about. The Cornhuskers will punt it away on fourth down. And these guys have been busy. Sixth punt of the day. Hand goes into the air for the fair catch, and the catch is made around the 40. And the Rutgers offense heads back onto the field. They'll try the run. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. If you're the defense, you know that running back is the guy you've now got to stop. He's had a lot of touches this game. Yes, he's made a lot of plays, but you've got a chance to win here. If you're going to do that, you need to take him away. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. They'll go to the counter play. Can't get him to the ground. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. From the gun, wants to pass. Unloads to the wideout. It's caught downfield. He stopped just short of the goal line at the one. An explosive play has him set up. Third down and long is the hardest down to execute in football, but this offense made it look easy. Nice job being aggressive, making the big play down the field, and now set up in a position where they can go get a touchdown on first and goal. this offense not only has a chance to extend the lead but they can also drain that clock wants to go up top he was open he had it and he dropped it would have been a touchdown instead it's second down sometimes as a quarterback when you're feeling your rhythm and you're feeling yourself you just want to keep taking shots right this guy's already thrown three touchdown passes he saw a look he liked decided to let her fly I haven't seen a lot of balls fall incomplete, especially deep down the field. That one did, but I'd expect this guy to keep letting it go. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Man, and that's a frustrating play when you go in reverse near the goal line. Goal-to-go situations, Palmer. you got to get those positive yards. You can't go backwards if you're trying to get a touchdown. You know, I'm trusting in my quarterback here to make the right decision. Looks like we're going to have to throw it, right? But if it's not open, just throw this thing away. You don't want to take a sack, lose extra yardage here. Just be smart with the football. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. And listen, I'm aggressive by nature. I'm going for it on fourth down most of the time. But that negative play, does that give you a little pause? It does, because if you're rattled right now, then you need to regroup, take the three, and live to fight another drive. Oh, and he missed it. No good. Guys, a missed opportunity there. The lead is still three. 
Well, everybody in the stadium thought that was an automatic three. Not so fast. Bad miss by the kicker. And here comes the Nebraska offense back onto the field. Line gets set, first down. Looking to pass, it's Rayola. Gets it out fast. And the defense coming with bad intentions. They knock him down for a loss. Loss of one. Second down. And they are looking for a ball play that'll work. Now facing second and long from the 19. The give to the right. Fights off a defender. He's in open space downfield. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Well, no surprise. I mean, with the way they're running the ball early in this game, they're just going to keep doing it. And they're just not hammering out two, three, four-yard gains. They're gashing this defense. You saw it right there. It's first and ten from the 38-yard line. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He's looking to throw. Just goes right through the wicket and brings up third down. Man, he will be thinking about that one. I like the idea by the quarterback. He wanted to attack the middle of the field. He found his open guy. The receiver's just got to be able to make a play for him. They couldn't connect on second down. Now staring at a third and nine. From the gun, wants to pass. He'll take the deep shot. And they can't hook up on the big play, and that brings up a fourth down. DB does an outstanding job here on the deep pass. Locating the football, no P.I., able to swat it away, pass incomplete. The Huskers will call on their punt team. Here's the fair catch, and he'll make it close to the 20-yard line. Rutgers has it back. They'll send the offense back onto the field. Leaves it with the back. Solid run. Picks up six and gets it to the 28. Play callers love it offensively. When you can run the football when the other team knows you're going to do it. That is called imposing your will. And here in the fourth quarter, with the lead, very first play of the drive, you break off a nice run. He might just call the exact same play right again here. He leaves it with his back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. All right, so I know the defense is going to be aggressive, right? They got their stop. They forced the third down. How aggressive does the offense want to be in response? Because if I throw the football, get a first down, I can run this clock almost out. This defense has to make a choice. But this offense, how aggressive do you want to be? On third and long, try to convert through the air. They're trying to get to it. Boy, was he well protected. Finally, let's one go to the left. And they'll do more than move the chains. They'll move that thing more than 30 yards down the field before he's finally stopped. Nice job executing the four-minute offense. You know, they practice this throughout the week, having a lead late in the game, running plays to just get enough to get first downs to stay on the field, and they are executing this four-minute offense to perfection. And the Scarlet Knights getting set on first and ten. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Got it in the middle. It's Miller. They'll finally put the brakes on him at the three. A big throw. Catch and run on that one. Nice strike. Big play in the passing games. I'll tell you what. Find your mismatches. Find your advantages. What you do well. And do it again. And then again. And then we know how long we do it again. Keep attacking. So this offense has the lead. They have the ball. They have the clock on their side. And a chance perhaps to put it out of reach. From the gun. Give him six. Touchdown, Scarlet Knights. 
Friday. How about that? His second receiving touchdown of the ball game. Find ways to get your athletes the ball. They'll do the rest. That's number two. They better start playing some better defense, or number three is coming soon. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point extends the lead to double figures at 10. Personal foul. Personal foul. Nothing to kick the kicker. Defense. Defense. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. The kickoff team out there to boot it away and 15 yards farther up the field after the roughing the kicker penalty. Just unloaded on that kickoff. Don't have to worry about a return on a kick like that. They'll bring it out to the 25. He wastes no time and comes out throwing. Pocket starts to collapse. Welcome to the frustrating reality of college football. Like, the guy at the quarterback spot, he can just do that. Pull it down, get positive yards, makes the defense have to account for him every single play. And the Huskers want to pick up the tempo. Dropping back, it's Rayola. Quickly complete. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Two minutes now left in this one, and time is running short if they want to find a way to pull this one out. They've got it first and ten at the 50. He's going to pass. Throws to the wideout. Got his man downfield. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. And there's no quit in this team. Obviously, they're trailing late in the game, but they're trying to make it happen. We've seen two big plays now back to back. They're putting pressure on this defense. Now they've got to hustle to the line and get set. To the air on first down. Fires to the wide out. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down. Second down coming. After the misfire, it's second down. He's looking to throw. Got his man. And they make the connection, and he's got it at the 10 yard set up with a red zone opportunity the Cornhusker is trying to pay off the threat on first and goal he's looking to throw it going for six and it's grabbed for the late touchdown and how about this it's not over yet and listen still a ways to go a great job by this offense getting you back in the ball game now we got a one possession game We've got our score. We did what we're supposed to do. Now, how do we get this stop? Now, the defense has to come up big and give me the rock back. Ready to try the point after. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they finish it off by connecting from 10 yards out. They got the touchdown they needed. Now trailing by a field goal, they'll line up for the onside kick. Few anxious moments there, but the hands team true to its name as they make the grab and get the ball. And the Rutgers offense heads back onto the field. All right, this game just got tighter, and you just don't want to make a mistake here, David. Especially in the fourth quarter. Remember, you're still leading this ball game. You're still going to execute the same way, Palmer. Don't get frantic. 
Don't get frantic, but I would like to see them stay aggressive, too. You put a touchdown up on the board here, and this goes back to being a two-possession game. They can move that thing one yard here. That'll probably wrap this baby up. On the ground, trying to pull the plug on this clock. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. They probably feel good about their field goal chances from the 29, but they'd love to convert this third and short. They'll try to bully their way for the first. And how does he keep running? I'd be dizzy after a spin move like that. That is how it's done on third down and short. Uh, no doubt about it. An easy hole to get through and clearly get the first down. If you really want to simplify football, the low man... They're ready to just drain the clock in victory formation. Happy with the situation, the quarterback will take a knee. 